In this video, I will show you how to install Kubernetes on Ubuntu 20.04. And these are the steps which I will be covering for this complete installation process. The first one is to create virtual machines using Ubuntu 20.04 and then using the Docker as the container engine and later installing Kubernetes using the kubeadm tool and for the CLI we will be using either Flannel or the Calico and final step would be to create a deployment and test the complete installation process all the steps which I show during this installation process to install docker and kubernetes are from these websites docs.docker.com and kubernetes.io and I have used Google Cloud for my virtual machines. It's completely optional. You can use any cloud vendor or you can either use VirtualBox also. And the minimum requirements I am using for my master and the worker nodes are two CPUs and eight GB RAM for the master, one CPU and four GB RAM for the worker nodes. And the minimum requirement for the master would be at least four GB of RAM and for worker it should be two GB of RAM. And the important step to be noted here is that there should be no swap file on all these virtual machines. Now I will quickly show you how to create a virtual mission in Google Cloud. In the left side tab I will select the compute engine and then select VM instances. Here click on create and then give a name to the virtual mission. For master, I'll be selecting two virtual CPUs and 8 GB of memory and then change the boot disk to Ubuntu. And then click on create. Now I will follow the same process and create two other worker nodes with one CPU and four GB of RAM. Now all the virtual machines have been booted and I will connect using the button SSH here. Now I have connected to all the machines, I will just update the repository before proceeding with other steps. I have already created the file where you can get all the steps to install docker and kubernetes. I have uploaded the file to my github repository and you can get the file from github.com slash me I will give the github link in the description below. Now we will install the docker and kubernetes on all the three virtual machines. So I will copy this first command and paste it on the master node and later I will install it on the other two nodes copy the command this is the gpg key for docker and now we will add the repository for docker as of now I am using the repository for bionic version still there is no stable release from docker for the focal release and once there is a stable release, I will update the readme file over here. As of now, we we'll can copy this command and paste it in the virtual machine. The repository has been added now I will add the gpg key for kubernetes and then the repository for kubernetes 
and all these commands can be found in the docker website in the kubernetes website and now i will update the repositories and the next step is to install the docker community edition and then kubelet kubeadm and kubectl tools i prefer you use the same version which i am using over here to avoid any installation issues and if you want to upgrade or install the latest version of kubernetes you can go to the website and get the latest versions now docker kubelet kubeadm and kubectl tools have been installed i will run the next command to hold the versions of docker ce and kubelet and the other tools which we have installed now just to avoid any other issues if they get accidentally upgraded all this has been put on hold and then i will enable the ip tables so that there will be a proper connection between the all the servers and then to update these changes now i have installed these kubernetes and docker on the master node i will follow the same process on the rest of two nodes Now Kubernetes, Docker have been installed on all the three machines. The next step should be performed only on the master node and the step would be to initialize the cluster. We have two options here, either initialize the cluster and use the flannel network or initialize the cluster using the calico network. Here I will be using the calico network. So I will select this command and run it on master node. Now the installation has been completed and before proceeding with any other step we need to copy this command and store it in a notepad or any other text editor i have copied the command and saved it in a notepad file now i need to start using cluster as a regular user for this i need to run these three commands copy and paste it here so this command will copy the admin.conf file for the kubernetes and store it in a local folder to the user and then change the ownership from root to local user these are the same commands over there the next step is to initialize the network cli i am using the calico network here i will copy this command and run it in the master node so the network has been initialized now and you can check the status of the kubernetes on the master node by typing the command kubectl get nodes now i have only initialized the cluster on the master node so we can see only one node the join command which we have copied earlier we will copy that one and we will run it on the two worker nodes. This command has to be run using the root privileges, so I will use sudo command here. Now the node has been connected to the cluster. I will run the same command on the second node. Now we can check the status of the nodes in the master node by typing the same command kubectl get nodes. 
you can see here the manager and worker one are ready status and worker two is still yet to come with status is ready now all the three nodes have been connected by default there will be taint added to the manager node so whatever pods we create will only be assigned to the worker one or worker two nodes So there are no pods in the default namespace and if you check in the all namespaces we can see the default components of the Kubernetes server, API server, control manager, proxy, scheduler and the HCD manager have been created and then the pods for Calico network. Now we will try to create a deployment and see if the pods are being assigned to the worker nodes properly or not. Here I am trying to create a deployment with the name my deploy with the image nginx. So deployment has been created, we will check the status now. We can see it's one of one, it's ready and we'll also see the pods assigned to this deployment. So there is a pod has been created here which is also in running status and we will see on which node this pod is right now running and it's been running on worker one node. have scaled the deployment with 5 here, means 5 replicas. Let's check the deployment status. You can see 5 pods has been created. And here the ready state is 5 out of 5. Now I will check the pods assigning to nodes. You can see there are pods assigned to worker1 and worker2 nodes. And the next point is in case if you have forgot to copy the joining command while running the installation process and you miss this complete code, you can always retrieve it by using this command kubeadm token create and you can get a new joining command. Now I will try to run this command in the master node. You can see we got a new joining command. The next pro tip is to create a bash completion for the kubectl. It's always available in the kubernetes.io website. Now with the bash completion which we have added in the profile, if I type kget dep and hit on the tab button, automatically I can get the completion. Now I will delete the deployment here. The deployment has been deleted. Now the installation process has been completed and I create a deployment and scaled it to 5 replicas. You can always get the commands to install the docker and kubernetes from this page. I will update it frequently based upon the docker and kubernetes releases. If you have any issues with the complete installation process, please mention it in the comment section. I will try to answer them. And also if you like this video, please share with your friends and subscribe to my channel.